Hello, and thank you for joining me. We're going to be going over Seaborn, the his plot function in Seaborn. This is the most important thing in, I think, data science in a very simple fashion is the distribution. Histogram is a great way to see that. So here we'll review the histogram and the functionality of this plot and function. So Seaborn, SNS, the standard alias for Seaborn, his plots. We're going to go data equals df, which is the standard syntax for Seaborn. Uh, x equals reading score, our, our continuous variable that we want to bin into histograms. So we're going to do a count. We can do frequency, proportion. There's a few different ones. They all look very similar, though. So count plot, and we're counting each time the data falls in between, let's say, 70 and 75, 75 and 80. So each time it falls within the bins. Here we can turn up the bins to 100. So you see we get a lot more deal, but we can actually see really where the data is. We're not generalizing as much as we are when we have a bin count. We can also do cumulative, which is really kind of interesting when you're doing comparisons to really get a sense of how much of the distribution, where the distributions, um, how they're accumulating differently. And that can be very informative. Sometimes it's good to generalize though, have this idea of the, a lot of bins, but also generalize here too. So we're gonna do the KDE kernel density estimation value, set that to true, and we get the KDE line, which does is kind of a smoothing line. It uses fairly complex um, machine learning algorithms to get this line, but it's essentially a smoothing algorithm. Uh, and so you see here we get the smoothing algorithm, a nice smooth line right here, and get a good sense of where the actual distribution really is, uh, the whole distribution as a whole. Here another good one is looking at stat probability, changing the stat for fun. A really amazing thing, or, and one reason that I really use the histogram is the hue argument, or Seaborn in general is for this hue argument. What I get out of a histogram specifically is you get the shading where the two or the various uh, different categories overlap. So what this histogram specifically does is pays, pays a lot of attention to highlighting where one category is weighted differently than another category. So here you can see there's a lot of weight in reading scores for male, the male grouping to be on the lower side. Now there's still a lot of overlap between the two, but you can see here, there is a very good weight to where the male is being, you know, really drawn to the lower side. Females are really adding to the upper side. This is very, very interesting. And this, again, the hue argument is really the go-to read. When you want to inspect by category, you go to Seaborn to use this argument. So thank you very much for joining me today.